That's about the last place I would ever tell anyone to go into, uh, particularly in the day and times we're living. Have you thought about the privacy? Okay, now we're going to, sorry about that, we're going to be looking at the uh, little brief video on Facebook. Uh, I might have played this one other time, I don't know, but it's worth playing again. Intelligent Agency's Espionage Site. So it's very, it's pretty brief, I think it's like five minutes, and four minutes actually. And uh, we'll start that now. Do you have a Facebook? Have you thought about the privacy you put at risk? The Facebook allows users to post their favorite music, books, movies, their address, hometown, phone number, email, clubs, jobs, educational history, birth dates, sexual orientation, interests, daily schedules, exactly how they are related to friends, upload pictures of themselves, and even political affiliations. Its privacy policy even goes so far as to state it also collects information about you from other sources, such as newspapers and instant messaging services. This information is gathered regardless of your use of the website. Think that's scary? The Facebook's term of service is state. By posting member content to any part of the website, you automatically grant and you represent and warrant that you have the right to grant to Facebook an irrevocable, perpetual, non-exclusive, transferable, fully paid, worldwide license with the right to sub-license to use, copy, perform, display, reformat, translate, excerpt in whole or in part, and distribute such information and content, and to prepare derivative works of, or incorporate into other works such information and content, and to grant and authorize sublicenses of the foregoing. Have you seen the Facebook's Pulse feature? I mean, it's kind of like they own you right off the bat, is what they're basically telling you regarding this. Pulse provides statistical trends among universities down to minute details such as percentages of females with conservative views, the student body's top ten movies, and percentage of students who have read Catcher in the Rye. The so-called privacy policy goes on to say that they may share your information with third parties, including responsible companies with which they have a relationship. Can you think of any marketing group who would pass up buying such valid yet easily collected statistics such as these and others? So maybe they're using us. But is there more? The first venture capital money totaled at $500,000 came to the Facebook from venture capitalist Peter Thiel, founder and former CEO of PayPal. He also serves on the board of radical conservative group Vanguard PAC. Further funding came in the form of $12.7 million from venture capital firm Excel Partners. Excel's manager, James Breyer, was former chair of the National Venture Capital Association. Breyer served in National Venture Capital Association's board with Gilman Louie, CEO of InQtel, a venture capital firm established by the Central Intelligence Agency in 1999. So again, here we have the CIA again. <laughs> we talked about the CIA related to, oh, you know, Obama, you know, and, th and this whole thing. We've mentioned them at least two or three times already. And here we have them again, the Central Intelligence Agency, a gathering of one of the most corrupt factions of our government by far, openly, one of the main ways that drugs are actually smuggled into the country, we got into that last week, and they have a integral tie into Facebook as well. This firm works in various aspects of information technology and intelligence, including most notably nurturing data mining technologies. Breyer has also served on the board of BBN Technologies, a research and development firm known for spearheading the ARPANET, or what we know today as the Internet. In October of 2004, Dr. Anita Jones climbed on board BBN, along with Gilman Louie. But what is most interesting is Dr. Jones' experience prior to joining BBN. Jones herself served on the board of directors for InQtel, and was previously the director of defense research and engineering for the U.S. Department of Defense. Her responsibilities included serving as an advisor to the Secretary of Defense and overseeing the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency. This goes... Uh, that's DARPA, what we just discussed. So, they integral ties into the CIA and DARPA. It doesn't get a whole lot worse than that. It's farther than just the initial appearances. DARPA shot to national fame in 2002 when knowledge of the existence of the Information Awareness Office came to light. The IAO stated its mission was to gather as much information as possible about everyone in a centralized location for easy perusal by the United States government, including though not limited to... Internet activity, credit card purchase history, airline ticket purchases, car rentals, medical records, educational transcripts, driver's licenses, utility bills, tax returns, and any other available data. All of the above raises more questions than answers. 
Perhaps if the Facebook wishes to stay ethically sane, it should enact the policy. What happens in the Facebook stays in the Facebook. Okay, so that's that's the report on that. It was short, sweet, to the point. We didn't waste a lot of time there. Um, I totally went off Facebook this week as a result of this, watching this. I think I'd seen it, but, you know, I, I, had, I needed to see it again. And although I never really put really a, any kind of personal information up there, I kept it to a, a limit, I don't want my listeners who would go up there and be one of my friends to be to come under uh, to be targeted just because they're my friend and that could be the case you know I don't want to be responsible for that so that was another reason I went off theirs because I, I don't you know I know that's how they, another way they target if you're somebody's friend and they're in the uh, crosshairs of the government well then you become in the crosshairs here's another thing um, face.com the company responsible for Facebook applications, Photo Tagger and Photo Finder, lets you take any photo and quickly identify who is in it and where they are in the photo. The facial recognition is a boon to those tagging photos, and now Face.com is ready to bring similar capabilities to the rest of the Internet. So, again, this goes on to go into it further, but with organizations like DARPA and the CIA and, and these types of things, this is one of the ways they could quickly build a database on you. And this is the reason why these things are up on the internet. You know, it's not so you can, for, from their standpoint, it's not so that you can all social network and everybody can have this. It's really not their reason. Okay, It might be yours, but it's not theirs. It's data mining. And, um, you know, again, do it, pray about it, and, and I just want to present you the information and uh, 